Hey you. <laughs> so you're a Stefan Molyneux listener, and you think that Stefan is just a guy on the internet, just as he claims to be, right? Like you don't see anything wrong with with um the podcast that he does, and he seems like a genuine guy. He seems like a genuine guy. I mean like he seems so non threatening in the way that he kind of acts and just the way that that, that he talks to people like his use of language is really really good um, in that way that he just he never seems like he makes a mistake in terms of not empathizing with someone um, and I know like I know what that's like when I was listening to the podcast too like I thought he had my best interests at heart his listeners best interests at heart but you know by extension you kind of form this relationship with him as a um as a friend, I don't know. <laughs> That's the kind of like thing that happened to me, or that I started to just kind of think of him as a friend. He's he's Steph, you know. Come on, he's Steph. <laughs> he's not gonna do anything wrong to me, or he's not gonna say anything um, out of out of the ordinary to his listeners that would like harm them and harm their lives because he only has good intentions for his listeners. Like, yeah. It's hard to describe to you <laughs> why that's a lie. Because you you have to see it for yourself. <laughs> like I can't con I can't convince you of it. I don't think. I think I just need to show you the times that he's lied before, and the times that he's covered up his lies. And it's going to be a really big hit <laughs> to your own self esteem. Um, but he's he's not the guy that he portrays himself as that he like that I just described right there <laughs> right he's not that guy he isn't like even though he certainly you want to believe that he is and I wanted to believe that he was too and I fought it kind of tooth and nail I didn't want to believe that he was like a bad guy who was trying to um take advantage of his listeners <laughs> rather than actually help them. But that's just what you need to see for yourself. <laughs> and I, uh... Yeah, <laughs> I can't, I can't make you see it for yourself. Um, but that's, but that's an aspect of self-deprecation that he uses. So I just, I don't know. I just wanted to make this video to, um... I don't know, this, take, this took a really different turn. <laughs> Because what it is, is just you realizing that someone like me can empathize with you for being in your state right now and having thought of him as, or thinking of him currently as a person who is out to help you and to help you see the truth about life when he has no allegiance to the truth. He has no allegiance to the truth. His only goal is to manipulate you. <laughs> That's kind of weird, but um, and and it might it might even be. It might. Possibly be that he wants the world to be a better place. I don't believe that. I don't know. I don't believe that fully. I can't. I can't. Not after what I've seen in his narcissism, narcissism and his grandiosity with which he paints himself and Yeah. I'll post some of the evidence that I I could have you look through to see that he's a liar in some cases, you know. 
because he's if he's a liar in some cases then um you'll be able to see through like a chink <laughs> in his armor so that you can finally have this like <laughs> this whole um armor or something chink in his armor you know <laughs> so you can take that whole shroud of like ignorance for lack of a better term or just kind of manipulation of his own per um portrayal of himself and how you started to look at him too but now you, now you can actually see him uh for the truth uh that he is so um yeah i hope this was helpful for you if you're a, a previous listener or or current listener